Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective, where I view, test out, and demonstrate various VSTs. For today, we're looking at the DVN SFX Maker. It seems like this is a bit of a synth and like a sound effects generator, all basically in one. I haven't used it yet because for a lot of synths or a lot of these kind of type plugins, I feel like for piano, you play one note and you can tell the sound quality. But for a plugin like this, I like to kind of on camera mess around with it and see kind of what comes about because, uh, I don't know, so I'm just playing it up. So it kind of reminds me a little bit, honestly, right off the bat, especially with these, basically, generations right here. It seems like a bit of almost like a Game Boy 8-bit video game style sound generator. So I'm on basically the default right now, but let's just try, like, pick up. Well, that's kind of cool. So it automatically jumps up in pitch. That's cool. Okay, so should I shoot? Should I power up? Oh, so it also, cause so it seems like almost like a bit of like a sequencer. Oh, this is the pitch jump right here. Oh, this is kind of cool actually. Wait, so can I turn these up or down? Okay, so if I want to do, you know, well, I'll mess around. I'm going to do the the stock presets first. Um, and then I'm going to try to create my own. But if I were to, I could do this, right? I think. Okay. I have to mess around. I'm not sure. And then just do jump. Whoa. I don't know if I like that one. Some of the other ones are cool. Let's try blip. Wow, that's pretty fat, actually. Slash. Oh, I'll send this one off. Wait. I think there's something wrong with the GUI on blip, I feel like. Should I slash? But it's interesting how these seem to mess around. I wonder if basically when I generate it, maybe it's automatically random. All right, so let's reset it. So it looks like here we have three main oscillators, two of them being white noise and pink noise, so technically five, but three main ones. And then we have filter envelopes or amp envelopes, uh, EQing, some pitch envelopes, a bit crusher, and the pitch jump, which I think is really cool, and then the mutation percentage. So we have triangles. Breaker. That's cool. I like that one actually a lot. Now I wonder um, how I can do the routing, obviously. Mm. So I can adjust that there. Just the sunny tones. Let's try to turn this on. As you can hear that. We can just let me add like another one. I wonder if there's like a volume. Oh, there we go. There's a level, so we can do this. we can activate this though so i feel like the pitch envelope well maybe it's with the pitch jumping so actually i like um ooh. okay so i think if i do two you get that so i don't know where the mutation comes from though hmm. and then let's try maybe on oh, no Oh, so what's it really doing here, huh? 
feel like if there's maybe something I'm missing of how to like actually like turn this on. I'm gonna give this one. You know, I'm actually surprised. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. I think I'm not. Surprisingly, I'm not the biggest fan of the sound design, if I'm going to be honest, but I think it's very unique to have a synth. I guess you could use it, like I said, as a synth. Like some of these I'd probably use as like actual lead or a bass in one of my own tracks. So I think it's really unique how it's set up like a synth, yet specifically made for like effects, video game style stuff, like 8-bit, you know, all these kind of sounds. In addition to, it seems like by clicking this, they seem to go back and forth. So I could do like... Especially, I like the, the pitch jump, too. It's kind of cool. So you can make some really cool stuff with this one. 